and we're ready to run. Gates are back now and they're off and racing. Ole Kirk and North Pacific, the outside. Ole Kirk, North Pacific, stride for stride. Ole Kirk, North Pacific, bob of the heads, Ole Kirk. Two big furry sticks on, handle the troop, trying it, it's me, he's getting to the outside. Chase three off them, man a piece in front, it's me wide out, redouble the fence, redouble bursting through, it's me on the outside, got up to win it. Classic legend four off, the grey flash has started to cut loose, here he comes, classic legend, storms to the front and kicked away, the grey flash is now an Everest legend. Sierra still on the rail, down the middle of the track is Dawn Passage, and here comes Colette. Colette is winding up at the big run, Ice Bath going through the middle, Ice Bath and Colette, Ice Bath, Colette, they hit the line and Colette wide out. Yago's winding up at the big run on the outside, that special reward still in front, Sweet Deal's coming off heels to challenge, and on the outside is Asiago, Sweet Deal lays it down to special reward, and Sweet Deal goes home best in the tap hunter. 150 out, it's Arkademus and Dawn Passage slogging it out. Arkademus kicking, Dawn Passage trying. Arkademus keeps kicking, it's Arkademus for the gong. Gates are back and they're off. Marche Schwerdu just a touch though to begin and going back Lumber Dream after the start. Dance Town bounced out fast down near the inside and will go through. End lead from Prick 6. Tough cases right up there handy and a little bit wider is Zodiacus. And tipping points about five deep going forward so it's a good charge for the lead into the first turn. Where Tough Case will press on and take it up from Zodiacus. Tipping point up to third but wide no cover. Fourth the rails is Dance Town. They're followed by Prince Six, who is very deep going forward around Shengwei. They're followed then by Lumber Dream, who's in the second half of the field around Lava. Tip top timing back along the rails. They're followed by McNair. Well back is Marsh Ray Shrulu. It's second last and the rails our last at the end of the field. Tough case at the 500, brought them to the home turn, led by a length and a half on Zodiacus, who's in the clear behind. Out wide a tipping point, Dance Count right behind them. They're followed by Hu Ya, who's Fire been on a deep run next to Prince Six, tip top time in Lava, and starting to run on now with Marseille Swirlu. Out wide is Led Ring with a dazzling turn and speed at the 200, and Marseille Swirlu charged to the front, opened up about three minutes quickly. On tipping point, Dance Count runs on with Lava, but Marseille Swirlu Sprints away, Marche Swirlu, exciting on grass, won it by six, second in lava, third's either tipping point or tip top. Some last this time, Larry Marsden nods on landing but still has the lead and Glenbrook Door's gone, went last but two, Glenbrook Door down and Darman Ford has been pulled up, so too Garrison Savannah before jumping that fence, those are the two in the far corner of your picture, Garrison Savannah on the right and Darman Ford, but uh, up front the lead is now being held by Master Oates, who's now gone on. Master Oates and Norman Williamson have taken it up from Merriam Master, but General Pershing, none going better than him on the inside. A big leap by the Yorkshire horse there. Avon Byrne, a bit awkward at that one. That was the final ditch, and they're now approaching the 19th fence in the Green Oils Gold Cup. Over it now goes Master Oates with a two to two and a half length lead over General Pershing. Merriam Master being written to stay with those two, and after them, quite a gap before uh, the Grand National favourite Moorcroft boy, Antipo's favourite he is for the National, tr now trying to land a double for the powerful David Nicholson, Agent McGuire team, following by Sills. Saunter at 5-1 to one on, but Moorcroft's boy's got a lot of ground to make up. There he is coming into the picture now in fourth spot. Master Oates it is with the advantage as they turn for home. Master Oates from General Pershing who is still improving, and then Merry Master, Moorcroft Boy comes next to Avon Burn, but it's Master Oates, safely over in the lead with a commanding advantage now. 
in uh, third place the Merry Master getting a bit tired and Moorcroft Boy getting uh, some, some strong encouragement from Adrian Maguire but he'll have to sprout wings to win this one from that position over the second last they are now and it's Master Oates with uh, surely just this final fence to take because he's a long way clear and he's full of running his Master Roads coming into it now into the 23rd final fence Master Roads measures it well jumps it perfectly and he's getting the acclaim from the crowd here Moorcroft Boy stays on Darley to take second as they land over the last but it's all Master Roads now Master Roads who's going to come home and justify his his uh, market support Master Oates lands a double for Norman Williamson as he wins the 27th running of the Green Oils Gold Cup Moorcroft Boy a good encouraging